Virtualization. It may feel like an abused term at this point, but I think we can all agree that it continues to positively reshape our entire industry. And it's a great party, really, but not everyone's dancing real smoothly. Cisco's been instrumental here, dating back to the Nexus 1000V, a distributed virtual switch that brought control and traffic visibility to what was an otherwise basic vanilla hypervisor switch. Network administrators cheered new insights into the hypervisor with port profiles that followed virtual machines, no matter how much they roamed. Surfer admins rejoiced at the restoration of their role. Familiar job distinctions were back. But the group still missing from the party? Security. In their defense, no pun intended, they like to have fun too. They just had a few concerns, like what about controlling traffic between virtual machines, you know, east-west traffic, compliance and security audits. How about the dynamics? Rapid policy-based provisioning, virtual machine mobility, multiple clients on shared infrastructure, you know, multi-tenancy. How about that hard-earned security expertise, a career? Is it still needed in this environment? Great questions. You've probably got a few more, of course, but come on, it's gonna be a great party. And I want to introduce you to the Cisco Virtual Security Gateway, the VSG. It's a lightweight firewall for the hypervisor built upon the Nexus 1000V. And simplicity here is a thing of beauty. Just a few components to understand. You got the Nexus 1000V with VPath. You got the VSG itself, the Virtual Security Gateway, and management. The Nexus 1000V soft switch turbocharged the hypervisor, but now takes it even further with these VPath extensions. VPath provides intelligence for virtual services like policy-based traffic steering, flow classification, performance acceleration, all with flow-based decision caching done hand-in-hand -hand with the hypervisor. Now, the VSG itself is not just a multi-tenant virtual firewall. Its partnership with VPath offloads enforcement, gives you faster processing, fine-tuning of security policies and other management functions. You can think of VPath as providing services, path processing really. In this example, firewall processing like packet interception, redirection, and enforcement acceleration. Separation of duties is the hallmark here in our final component, management. Seamless communication and control with VMware Virtual Center, Nexus 1000V, and the Cisco Virtual Network Management Center. With port profiles in the Nexus 1000V and security profiles in the VSG, it almost makes too much sense. Server teams get dynamic provisioning to manage virtual servers, Network teams manage virtual networks and security teams manage virtual firewalls. It's well-defined collaboration across silos. You can even start to make a case that communication and security may actually be better than ever before. Now, flexibility is the key operative here. Multiple instances of the VSG enable horizontal scaling. It's an elastic multi-tenancy that arms you with the tools for your unique situation. And check this out. We can define security zones with your criteria and immediately stop any traffic between virtual machines or outside of the prescribed zones. Since this packet entering the Nexus 1000V has never been seen before, VPath intercepts and redirects to the virtual security gateway. Now the VSG does a lookup to apply the appropriate security policy and forwards it back to the Nexus 1000V, which will send it on to its destination. VPath can now handle enforcement of remaining packets on behalf of the VSG further enhancing performance and flexibility. Very straightforward. Technologies like vMotion and overlay transport virtualization and fabric path, they continue to drive even more dynamics into the virtualized data center. The VSG is architected to support this reality so that security will not slow down your ability to deploy solutions that benefit your business goals. New virtual machines can be added on the fly with security zones that follow any changes to their location even across physically different machines. This works really well for high availability since the VSG continues to enforce security policies when vMotion moves a machine to new server hardware. The backup VSG jumps in if the active VSG is not available. This design makes server and software upgrades much easier for change control and security auditing as well. Now, lest you think it's hard to get started, let's look at deployment and configuration. Deployment simply involves a couple of basic VLANs and a trip to vCenter to deploy the VSG OVA template. Configuration involves setting up your security profile, establish your zones, the rules for how you want traffic to flow between these zones, and a security profile that then uses these rules. Now, you just bind the security profile to a network profile, repeat as needed. The network admin is going to continue using their network profiles as they normally would, but now, security's not just invited to the party, got everyone dancing. Hey, if you're an enterprise customer, you're going to love this for providing trusted access and security segmentation in your data center. If you provide cloud services, this is the multi-tenancy security that you've been looking for. So don't let management and security fears slow down the benefits you're looking for in virtualization. You know, there's a car commercial where the narrator asks, what is performance? Is it zero to 60 or 60 to zero? I mean, you think about it. 
How fast would you really drive if you could not trust your brakes? The Cisco Virtual Security Gateway represents more than just brakes, of course, but now you can ask yourself, how fast do you want to go?